Next up is Hannah Bryson, and she will be talking on women and microloans in Nicaragua, changes in standard of living. Before I begin, I have someone I would like everyone in the audience to meet. Her name is Isabel. She's a young Nicaraguan woman, a mother of four beautiful children, and she works selling corn at a street stand every day. She bears two burdens, mother and worker, to make ends meet for her family. Isabel is also a victim of domestic abuse, and she took out her first microloan to pay for the divorce. I have been doing research on microfinance in Montegalpa, Nicaragua for the past two years, and my research seeks to address the question, has the standard of living changed for women who have taken out microloans? A microloan is a small loan that is used within the microfinance system to make money more easily available for impoverished people. According to the International Labor Office, by the end of 2006, over 79 million of the world's poorest women had been reached by microfinance, which makes sense because we do account for the majority of the world's poor. But this statistic, along with the stories included in our collection of interviews from women in Montegalpa, are evidence that microloans have the potential to promote gender equality. Within the pool of our data, we saw the greatest success of microloans to be in the improvement of the social status of women. Of our 25 participants, 20 stated that they felt empowered by their experience with microfinance, and of those 20, seven cited specific instances of independence, such as being able to work outside of the home or being able to make a decision without asking their husband's permission. One of the biggest challenges regarding the social status of women is the machista culture that continues to oppress, oppress women today. Machista culture is the common belief in male superiority that is still widely upheld within Latin America. The participants' self-defined feelings of empowerment that came from their experience with the microloan are hindered by this cultural norm. A, cri a critical aspect to microloans is that there is a direct link between women receiving a microloan and a decrease in domestic violence. Because having money gives them more authority over their homes and their very lives, it is crucial that women like Isabel have access to money and that there are strides taken towards gender-related social change in Latin America. By examining the effects and challenges of microfinance, we can strive to improve a system that has far-reaching effects and holds further potential to promote gender equality. I will close with Isabel's words regarding her experience and journey towards empowerment as they embody the essence of this research. Before I was a woman who lived a difficult experience with my husband, I lived submissive to what he earned and what he brought into the house. After I became independent and we separated, I started to work and in that way, I felt that I could do it. Thank you. Less domestic abuse oh, versus the cost. Okay. So within the interviews that I have, um, it, was it was pretty direct. It was just they got the access to the microloans, and they said as soon as I received the loan, I started making decisions in the household. Um, you also see that in the background literature that I read. There are, there are statistics that just say once they have access to the loan, they're no longer like abused by their husbands. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, it was, it was mostly background research at first, and then we dove right into the interviews, and I used um, the interviews and what the women have said to me to, con to make any of my conclusions. It's not just the background research. And first place in social science and humanities for UW-Eau Claire is Hannah Bryson.